International Conversation for today uh, as we talk about the Women in Fisheries Forum that is coming up. And this is a part of uh, Fisheries Month. So we have with us this morning, we have Beverly Wade, who is the Fisheries Administrator for the Belize Fisheries Department. And we have Peter Murray, who is the Program Manager for the Fisheries Management and Development for the Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank That's you for nice. having us. So let's start the conversation with the commemoration of Fisheries Month and uh, the specific theme that you guys have chose to celebrate under. Well, actually, it's Fisherman's. Fisherman's. Well, we say fisher folk. Fisher folk. Fisher folk. Okay. Okay. I was gender, just going to neutral. say, well. <laughs> <laughs> gender neutral, fisher folk. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fisher folk. But month. it's actually a month that we put aside in the year to celebrate the contribution of these very valuable and industrious um, people to our livelihoods, mm -hmm. our national economy, um, because we don't necessarily take stock of what it means, how important it is um, that a fisherman does every day for us. We go to the markets, we buy fish, but we don't understand their, um, what it takes to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We don't understand the contribution that that activity uh, makes to Belize as a country and to us as a people and even globally. Yes. And so it is a, a month long um, time for us to have various activities to now highlight the different aspects that of fisher folk and and their contribution to the sector that so, being mm, that being said the idea of women in fisheries automatically stands out because when we think of this particular sector traditionally men come to mind and men's contribution to uh, fisheries how did you guys decide on going in this particular direction and focusing on the role of women in fisheries? Well, there are two things that really led to this forum that we're discussing for tomorrow. There was a survey that was done through a project that we're currently implementing that's looking at the whole gender issue and looking mm -hmm. at the whole role of women in fisheries. And I'll ask my colleague, Mr. Murray, to talk about that in a little while. But as you said, um, rightfully so. When you think about fisheries, you automatically picture a man. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, but you and I know it's a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. Women play an important role in, in fisheries on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. However, they're kind of like the unsung heroes yeah. <laughs> in this. Um, there's an important role that they play from a family perspective. Mm -hmm. There are important roles that they play even from a management perspective within the individual um, fisherman business activities. There are also other roles that they play. We have women who are actively involved themselves in the activity of fishing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, there are women that plays leadership roles in communities. There are women like myself mm -hmm. who plays a uh, important role in terms of management yes. okay. and so and policy yes and yeah. so there is a the idea of the forum is to now bring the women together yeah. from the various um, roles communities and to have a discussion about their role in fisheries yeah um, what highlights some of the the important things that we don't normally pay attention to that makes this whole um, fisheries sector function yeah. on a daily basis to talk also about the challenges that they have because mm -hmm. as you said they're kind of the people that are in the background all the time mm -hmm. to talk about the challenges and to look at how we can now one, study, document, because it's an area that is not well documented, it's not well studied, and to see how we could now um, look at their roles, what opportunities are also there for yeah. us in looking at women in this, in this larger sector and to see how they can contribute at the end of the day to um, sustainable fisheries and sustainable livelihoods. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's very interesting because I, I, I think for me, um, when I think about it, and obviously because of my specific gender lens, I can see the role of women in fisheries because what has become 
uh, I believe the first role that you pointed out, kind of a supplementary role or a supporting role, is absolutely important. When a fisherman leaves for the upcoming lobster season, for example, there has to be somebody to hold on the fort. Sometimes these are the persons who will take care of the purse in the meantime. Yeah. If we go into the markets, uh, we can see where women are the ones who do the cleaning of the fish when they get in as well. Mm -hmm. And that's just one area. I do know women go out and fish as well. Mm -hmm. So when you host a forum this gender specific, how do you include the men? How do you work towards a joint approach rather than separating the entities involved? I think the perspective for this first forum yeah. is to provide an opportunity for, for the ladies to speak unfettered by concerns of, mm -hmm. of, of, of gender, gender in that, at that moment. Okay. So essentially the idea is that it's basically women's, women only for that first forum, okay. get the idea so they can feel comfortable talking. There's some very important but very often unstated mm -hmm what Freud calls things in the cultural subconscious, where a tendency to, 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 to pull back when there are people around because of the, the, the patriarchal nature of your society or what have you. And so the idea for the organizers, as I understood it, was to allow ladies the freedom to talk without worrying about the fact that there are men around who might want to jump in mm -hmm. and say, that ain't so, that's not so, that's not so. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> give them that freedom to, 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 to express themselves openly. Yeah. Right? And then, Based on that now, with the information you get from there, with that openness in conversation, mm -hmm. you can then move to the, a more inclusive discussion. Yeah. But you already would have had a basis in women's views unfettered. Mm -hmm. that, that's the thinking behind it. Now, as a part of the Caribbean Regional Fisheries Mechanism, is this an activity or a focus taking place only in Belize or it's something that is being sought across the region? Two things. Fisherman's Month um, takes place in most of the Eastern Caribbean countries. Mm -hmm. In fact, Fisherman's Day, the 29th of June, the Catholic Feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, the fishers of men. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that is the origin of it and the genesis of the idea. Um, add to that the fact that in some of the countries, yes, there's an ongoing set of activities. Um, in this particular instance, in terms of the women in fisheries, there's been a study, some work being done, um, with the University of the West Indies, the SUMI, Center for Environment, um, Environmental Management, and, and, and which looks at gender in fisheries in the broad Caribbean perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Belize is one of the countries participating into that. So, in fact, there was a knowledge, attitude, and practice study that was done in a number of countries, countries that are CRFM countries and CNFO. CNFO is the Caribbean Network of Fisher Folk Organizations, um, which is a legally constituted organization that is made up of representative fishers bodies in the, in the region yeah and um, the idea was that the work done would look at gender and fisheries throughout the region yeah. what, what were the results of the cap study the, the knowledge attitude and perception study well essentially the it's it's very interesting actually um yeah. it's mixed views there is a general feeling that the opportunities for women to be involved are there Mm -hmm. The opportunities for them to be at the technical level, like mm -hmm. the Beverly Wades of the world, are okay. there. Um, but the thing is, for a number of reasons, which is what we need to really find out, and which hopefully the forum would allow to come out, they tend not to be involved. Mm -hmm. the op so you have the opportunity, but they don't use the opportunity. Is it a socio-cultural mm -hmm. thing? Is it the perception, the women's own perception of their roles? Is it that something is keeping them back um, that men are doing? The, 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 the study suggested that that is not the case. In the view of the th three groups of, of, of women we looked at, um, the policy actors, managers, and so mm -hmm. um, people from women from the community, mainly the communities in the, in the, in the north, and um, people who work as processes in, in the cooperatives. And in general, they felt that the opportunities are there. In general, they felt that there is no inequity, mm -hmm. right? However, having said that, in a lot of instances, we're not seeing them coming out. Yeah. So, so why? Is it 
Is so if it's equal access, then what is the hindrance? What is the hindrance? And we're hoping Do we have female fisher women yeah. or fisher folk? Yes, we have. In fact, uh, well, uh -huh. few. the fisher of the year for last, yeah. for yes. the last, last year was a woman. Yeah? Yes, and as yeah. a matter of fact, we um, were just back from the United Nations Oceans Conference where we had a female fisher folk with us um, okay. celebrating her role in fisheries. Mm -hmm. She's an yeah. active fisher. So there, there are a handful of them um, where they were, they got into the activity through their going out with their dads. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of them, they were alongside their, their father, their brothers, and they just continued that um, role. But we don't have as many female fisher folk in Belize mm -hmm. as, as in other countries. If we could segue for a minute here. <clears throat> the theme for the month is fisheries contributing to food security in a changing climate. I gather that this refers to the, the phenomena of climate change as well, correct? Uh -huh. Can you guys speak to us about that for a second? But a changing climate for us means a number of things. It's mm -hmm. not only climate change. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for us, it, it actually talks about the environment that fisheries is now situated in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm from everything, from the whole issue of um, more regulations globally, mm -hmm. because one of the things that fisheries have now um, experienced in the more recent years is more, um, more regulation at an international level to ensure quality, to look at um, traceability issues. And so what it has done, it has now forced us as managers, practitioners, people who are involved on the ground, to now look at the way we've traditionally been engaged in fishing activities and to now change. Mm -hmm. There's a there's the other issue of the whole um, markets. Mm -hmm. uh, Belize have traditionally, in terms of fisheries, exported two commodities, and we've exported those two commodities as raw commodities. Yep. And now there's a need for us to now look at new commodities. Yeah. Um, to look at adding value to those commodities yeah. in, in order to now ensure that we're getting the best value for that yes. for that very important and valuable product. And that we've we been have successful with the lobster for that. Yes, as, exactly. as one case, exactly. that's, that's, a, that's an yeah. excellent example. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then of course, um, there is the whole issue of climate change yeah. <laughs> that people talk about. The bottom line is that um, fisheries is a sector that is vulnerable. To climate change yeah. and what we have to do is to ensure that we have good fisheries management because good fisheries management equals building your resiliency to climate change at the end of the day and so we have to work along with our fishers to ensure that w our stocks that we're exploiting are are healthy yeah. and you do that by ensuring that you have good sustainable practices yeah. you have good communication with your stakeholders, they feel a sense of core responsibility to, yeah. to abide by the fisheries regulations and, it, and those things. You know, I, I always have in my mind, uh, following conversations with the fisheries department, the Manage Access program and just the engagement level. We, we've had uh, some of the fishing community on set and there is buy-in um, in terms of being able to understand that there are some protection mechanisms that need to be in place in terms when looking at sustainability. Um, and so I, I wanted to highlight that obviously as, as one approach in, right. in what you're doing. But we've also heard you speak about diversifying mm -hmm. the fish stock, which is um, whether it's deep sea or perhaps more dive base or spearing with lion fish. Mm -hmm. How have we been um, in that particular area, kind of getting the Belizean fishermen away from the traditional uh, stock into what else can be explored? Well, there is some work that's being done with that. As a matter of fact, um, we've had some very good results with looking at the, the deep slope. The, we call it deep water snapper. Um, those beautiful red snappers that you see out there, mm -hmm. the yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. But the bottom, we have made good strides in that direction. We're also looking at diversification in, in seaweed culture. Uh -huh. That's very much um, encouraging for us now. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but diversification for us 
also means value adding. And so yeah. there's a, a, a huge effort also that's also looking at adding value to that, mm -hmm. to that product that is coming in. Yeah. Yeah. So if we look at the uh, specific forum, going back, because when I said the, the, the um, diversification, I was wondering if perhaps if I'm a traditional fisherman and I like the way <coughs> I do things and I want to keep on doing it, perhaps introduction of new blood with new interest <laughs> would, would help along the way. Yeah. Um, but we have spoken many times before that if you're talking about going after a different species in a different area, there's a cost associated, mm -hmm. especially with fuel. Um, following this forum, if you hear from the women in the community, we want to go out there and fish. Uh, is there a mechanism in place in terms of being able to offer some sort of support for them to be able to move into this industry? Well, there are several programs that are currently ongoing, which not only speaks to women, yeah. but they tend to be, there are some that are a little biased towards women because of the whole gender aspects yeah. of it. As I mentioned, we are currently administering a project that is being funded by the Adaptation Fund through the World Bank. Mm -hmm. It's the Marine um, Climate Change Adaptation Project. And a huge component of that project is looking at what we refer to as supplementary livelihoods. Mm. And so a big part of that project is to help fishers um, from the whole, from a concept idea for a alternative yeah. to now helping them with the business planning part and looking at infusing um, some capital into that to allow them to, pro to provide the inputs that would allow them to now move into that direction. And so for that project, one of the groups that we have to highlight is women. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so there is a, a, a window there yeah. um, for us to now encourage. We would love that after this program, we see women coming to us and say, knocking at, at, at our door and say, we would want to be involved more. We have the mechanisms in place to assist them, as I said, from helping them um, to solidify what idea yeah. they're thinking about, and also taking them, literally mentoring them through the process of getting something set up and, and making them successful at the end of the day. So that's one hope. What yeah. else do you hope to come out of the forum tomorrow? Always it's useful to get information. Yes. Um, the views of the women, whether they are directly involved or otherwise, is important. Um, we, we found in, in the, the study that had been done that me, at, at the very least, what was needed is for women to be able to bring out from themselves their own perspectives. It's interesting to know that people very often don't reach into themselves to find out what it is they need to know about themselves. And, <laughs> and, and no, it's, it's really interesting. That introversion yeah, yeah, is not to yeah, come that is you know? important. Yeah. <laughs> and so coming out of that, with that taking place yeah. in the forum, then that information can be put in support of the program that Beverly has been talking about and other programs to allow them to come in. Mm -hmm. where, what is their perspective on where they need to go um, and, and how they can be helped from their perspective. Yeah. And from a management standpoint, it's, yeah. also Im it's always important for us to understand the dynamics within the very community Absolutely. and the stakeholders that we're working with yeah. because it allows us to be more strategic with our interventions yeah. and it allows us to have a better idea of, of the whole picture. And if you, I remember somebody telling me, the most important part in natural resource management is managing the people. It, it and so, people, exactly, it's there, yes, you make yeah. interventions for the resource, but it's about managing people. And the more we understand mm -hmm. our stakeholders yeah. and the people, we have a better footing um, in terms of being successful with our management interventions. And in keeping with the theme, the overall theme, which is contributing to food security, you know, we've heard um, on the show several times that there is a need yes. for more people to be involved under the sustainable practices, of course, in this particular sector. Um, and I think in a time where we talk about unemployment, we talk about poverty index, um, and we talk about people seeking opportunities, what do you think 
uh, is perhaps, or perhaps you can tell me, is there more of an interest from people who didn't grow up in the tradition of, of fishing um, in wanting to get involved? There is, because we live in a country where peop you have people coming up and people are looking for areas that they could tap into for livelihoods and economic yeah. activities. And fisheries is one of those sectors with potential. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, there is a constant interest for people who wants to come into to fisheries. Yeah. Um, as you said, rightfully so, um, to, 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 to make a living, mm -hmm. to earn a livelihood at the end of the day. Yeah. And so I remember when we had the opening, um, we were saying that um, in the Caribbean, on a whole, our annual average for, con for consumption of fish is actually higher than the global, global average. average. The global average is 20%, yeah. I mean it's 20, 20, 20 kilograms, kilograms. Yeah. per person, and in the Caribbean it's actually 24. 24. And so at the end of the day, it is important for us for food security, yeah. but also not only from the direct consumption of it, in a country like Belize, fisheries continue to play a significant role in our national economy. Mm -hmm. It's still the fourth largest foreign exchange um, earner mm -hmm. in this country, and it contributes 3% um, to our GDP. And so when you look at that, it is significant um, at the end of the day to, to food security, not necessarily by eating it, but mm -hmm. also by providing that livelihood yeah. and the income yeah. that people need to feed themselves. And I'm, I'm always floored when I go somewhere mm. and there's no fish. Like, exactly. It, it, there's a fish <laughs> shortage. In fact, when lobster season starts, there will be a fish shortage. Yeah. I already know my cycles. And we still import for yes. our own local consumption. So yes. it shows that there is a demand yes. that is not being met. Yeah. There's an interesting aspect to what Beverly said when she mentioned the 3% contribution to gross dom domestic product. And it's something that I always find myself constrained to speak about. That 3% actually underestimates the contribution to the economy. Mm -hmm. Because the 3% is based on ex vessel price of fish that is landed. But it doesn't take on the, the contribution by the people who clean, by the people yeah. who transport, mm -hmm. all those other multipliers mm -hmm. are not built in to the GDP figures. Yeah. They end up being part of transportation or part of something else or part of something else. But in fact, I, I, I would say that if I had to, off the top of my head, that the contribution to GDP is about two and a half times what the, the figures say. So the economy is about two and a half times what the GDP figures say. And I think that's a, another very important thing. The contribution to health the fact that fish is one of the healthiest foods you can, you can, you can eat. And so there's a contribution to health. Do we count that? No, we don't. You know, the, 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 con the, the opportunity cost of not having to import. Granted, we import a lot. But it means there's also a certain amount that we do not import. Do not because, to, yeah. because we are, is that being considered as well? No, but that's a contribution to the economy. Yeah. That is savings in foreign exchange. All right? So all of these aspects, I think, are very, very important to bear in mind in addition. And hence, the theme being contributing to food security. And food security is not just about having food for people to right. eat. Yeah. It's that bigger picture as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do we say to our women who are watching right now about why they should come out to the forum? It's, while we're telling them, it's, it's your day. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to hear your voice. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be totally unrestricted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we oh want, God. right. <laughs> it's a women's it's only a forum. It's a women's, women's only, only forum. Women's forum. Yeah. And it's a time for us to to have, we would want to have a very open and engaging discussion with women and for us to just be there like sponges to soak it in mm -hmm. and to help put it, put it into perspective. Now very clearly some women may not recognize their role as contributing. So how do you define who is a woman involved in fisheries? Well that was an interesting thing I could tell you. Uh -huh. um, when we started looking at the list of who do we invite to such a forum, we ended we were getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because of the <laughs> the, the, the links. Yeah. The links. Yeah. Um, mm. But in in through all, everybody is a contributor mm -hmm. in fisheries, and so the forum is open to to any woman in the, in, the, in the public. But of course, we we wanted to ensure that those that are that are more directly involved are also at the table with okay. us having that discussion. All right, and it takes place at the Biltmore Plaza yes, in the cities. Does. And what time does it start? 
In the morning? In the morning. <laughs> at nine in the morning. Nine. So uh, someone can just show up? Uh, if, yes. If, yeah. okay. yes. They'll be welcome. All They'll right. be welcome. So I'm cool. I will be. All right. The, the women can just show up. Let me be clear. It's a safe space for them to be able, for the first time, to express yes. Uh, yes. their own issues or their own contributions. All right. Well, we hope we get to hear what happens after the forum as well. We, um, and we are hoping for um, very engaging, um, open discussions. Yeah. And I know I'm very much looking forward to it. So I hope to see um, many people there. I was hoping I could become a fly on the wall, but they won't allow, oh, no. They won't even allow no flies allowed. Men's either. only. <laughs> <laughs> no flies. That might be a challenge. <laughs> but we're grateful uh, that you stopped in. At least you told us about it, and we'd love to hear what the results are. This is a very yes. interesting initiative, and you're right. You you cannot look in isolation um, at just those that those who are out going to collect right. the resources. Right. There are many others who play a role. Right. Thank you for being here and best of luck tomorrow. And thank you for having us. Okay. We're going to go ahead now and take that final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.